We're going to send it out to meteorologist John D. Pasquale. He's out on Onondaga Lake Park. They got lights on the lake tonight. Not much in the way of weather problems tonight, John, but I guess it's going to be a different story for tomorrow, the commute out there on the parkway, right? Uh, th that is absolutely right there, Jim. So no issues this evening. Yes, it's brisk. It's chilly out here. Uh, but if you dress according appropriately with gloves, hat, uh, and people want to take part in the Lights on the Lake walkthrough, that's free. Um, that starts at 5 o'clock this evening, goes until 9 o'clock. And then again tomorrow night with the dogs, all right? So you've got a pet. Can take the dog and have some fun there. But uh, yeah, we've got again a brisk, chilly evening, maybe a few showers of rain and snow, uh, but that's about it this evening. As you mentioned, Jim, uh, snow becomes a bigger issue after midnight tonight into the first part of tomorrow, especially so, which is going to impact that morning commute. This morning was a little slick and sloppy, especially on secondary roads. But Tomorrow morning, due to the colder temperatures, temperatures in the mid 20s, it'll be blustery too. Winds will be whipping around, causing some blowing and drifting snow. The snow that comes down and will be coming down at times heavily in and around the Syracuse area, eastern Finger Lakes, back toward Lake Ontario and out into Madison County, will be sticking a lot more readily than it did this morning. So if you're thinking, eh, it's probably not going to stick that much, right? Come on, the ground's too warm. Yes, the ground is still pretty warm. However, when it's snowing uh, at a, an inch, maybe two inches per hour at times, in the midst of this band and you got temperatures well below freezing that snow will stick and the roads don't have a lot of salt on them either because we're just starting the winter season so please you're driving tomorrow morning to work and school give yourself plenty of extra time to reach your destination because it's going to take you probably a little while longer in and around the Syracuse area and the eastern Finger Lakes. Uh, Jim of course will talk more about the uh, forecast of the lake effect snow uh, through tomorrow and beyond coming up in a little bit but right now I'm going to toss it back to Christy inside the warmer studios. Christy. All right it is warm in here John thank you. Let's go over the details again the lights on the lake stroll officially steps off at five o'clock and it runs through nine. Admission is free but there is a $2 suggested donation to benefit the Hillside Work Scholarship Connection. Tomorrow from 5 to 9 is the Lights on the Lake Dog Walk with donations benefiting Humane CNY. And on Thursday, salute the troops. Cars can begin driving through the displays. Admission will be free that night for any veteran, active, or retired military.